Ahead to Monday, defense attorneys for Patrick McDowell are expected to argue why they feel their client's sentencing trial needs to be moved away from this area. McDowell is the man who pleaded guilty to shooting and killing Nassau County Deputy Joshua Moyers in 2021. Prosecutors are seeking the death penalty against him. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding has been looking through the 13-page motion filed by McDowell's attorneys. In their motion, McDowell's attorneys largely center their argument around the intense negative media coverage against their clients, saying it was overwhelming, constant, and pervasive. But they also talk about comments made by Nassau County Sheriff Bill Leeper, both during the manhunt for McDowell and after. I wish he would have gave us an opportunity to shoot him, but he didn't. He crawled out like a coward. That comment made by Nassau County Sheriff Bill Leeper on the day of Patrick McDowell's capture is just one of the statements now flagged in this 13-page motion for a change of venue. The motion goes on to say during the manhunt for McDowell, Sheriff Leeper advised local residents to shoot and kill McDowell if they saw him. It says that comment was rebroadcast several times. These statements are among several reasons why McDowell's defense attorneys will argue their client cannot get a fair and impartial jury in neither Nassau County or those surrounding, writing in the motion that the case's publicity was so intense that juries could not possibly put these matters out of their minds and try the case solely upon evidence presented in court. While his attorneys will argue for a new trial location in court, there is yet to be a ruling on whether a death sentence for McDowell will require a unanimous jury recommendation or the much lesser 8-4 to four standard. Dozens of people have been given notice by McDowell's attorneys that they may be called to speak on his behalf during the sentencing trial when it does start. The very earliest that could be is in April, but it could always change. The hearing on McDowell's motion is scheduled for 2 p.m. on Monday. Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.